In this video, you'll see how to get started using our Blazor menu. This component allows you to add an adaptive menu to your Blazor application. I've already created a Blazor application that is configured to use DevExpress components. Now I add a DX menu to the page and specify the menu's title. Then I define the items collection. Each item is a DX menu item class instance. I specify the text and icon CSS class properties for them. I also add child items to the root menu items. Let's take a look at this in the browser. This is our menu. The root items are arranged in a row. I can change the menu's orientation. To do this, I set the orientation property to vertical. I also specify another class for the div tag and run the app. Now the menu items are arranged vertically. The menu component also supports different display modes. If I specify the display mode property to mobile, the menu will have a compact view. Let's take a look at this in the browser. Note that the menu looks like a desktop menu, a panel with root items. However, when you click an item, its submenu is shown in the main menu container and has the back button. If you specify the horizontal orientation and the mobile display mode, you will see a hamburger menu. Note that the items are now collapsed into the hamburger button. Now I'll demonstrate the menu's adaptive mode. I change the display mode to desktop and add more items to the menu. I also change the class of the div tag. Now the menu displays five items. I open developer tools and try to change the width of the browser window. You can see that when there is not enough space to display the text of all items, the menu hides text and displays only icons. Note that menu items are hidden sequentially from the last menu item. Now I go back to Visual Studio and set the collapse item to icon mode property to all. I also set the collapse items to hamburger menu property to true. And let's view the changes. When the width of the browser window changes, the text of all menu items is hidden at once. If there is no space to display menu icons, the items are collapsed into a hamburger menu. You can also change the item's position and hamburger button position. You can now see that the menu items are placed in the center of the menu container. When items are collapsed into the hamburger menu, the hamburger button is displayed at the right edge of the menu panel. The menu component also allows you to use templates to customize the layout and appearance of menu items and their parts. You can specify a template for all items or for an individual item. Now I'll add an item with templated content. Let's take one last look, and here is my custom item. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.